everyone, it's Ryball Ball here from The Beaten Track. Thanks so much for joining us again today. Uh, I've got you here today, I'm just gonna talk you through the slide out kitchen um, that we put in the uh, caravan here. Um, the slide out kitchen I actually found on Gumtree for $500. Um, I think it was actually worth a couple of grand, the guy said he paid for it brand new. Um, I'm actually gonna put a link in the description below too um, to let you know uh, who the manufacturer of that um, slide out kitchen was. So if you do wanna get yourself one, um, you'll know where to find it. Um, and before I get into it, um, if you haven't already, make sure you do uh, subscribe to the channel, please. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, like and hit that bell icon too. So um, let's dive into it. So firstly, this is the hatch that Floydy um, built um, for the slide out kitchen. Um, one thing with the original caravan I'll just point out is that uh, you can see this front section here is square now. Um, the original was actually curve shaped. Um, that timber in the, um, in the original one was rotted out. So, you know, there's quite a bit of uh, nasty timber rot there that we've got to get out. And in doing it, I'm actually going to change the shape a little bit as well. So rather than this curved shape just here at the front, I'm actually going to go down fairly square to the back of this um, frame that we've got on the front of the caravan. So I knew I wanted to put a slide out kitchen in the front of it, so I actually made it, like squared it off so it would fit this slide out kitchen in. If I had it curved, I probably wouldn't be able to get it in um, with the location to the door, etc. So anyway, that um, that goes straight underneath the, the front bed here. So um, latch just drops down on this one. Now, there's one part of the slide out kitchen I haven't got yet, it's still not 100% finished. Um, it's designed to um, pair with a 30 litre Waco fridge drawer. So I haven't actually got that, and it does have a stainless steel sleeve to go back over the top of it um, to finish it off. But anyway, I'll show you how it is at the moment. So you've got two heavy duty runners here. I'll just slide these out. So this first part here, as you can see, that's the part where the, um, where the Waco fridge drawer has to go in. Uh, the part next to it, we've got the two burner gas stove, Smurf gas stove, which is really nice. And then over here we have the little sink. So we do actually have it all um, plumbed, ready to connect as well, which is great. It actually does work. Um, and then underneath, there is a little cutlery drawer. And then over there, you can see we've got a gas line and then hoses for the uh, for the sink. The water, we don't have hot water, um, but the, connects into that little bayonet we've got set up on the inside. So that connects it to the pump, so it runs through the tank water in the caravan. We've also put a bayonet, a gas bayonet, just under the front here. So you can see that just under the drawer there. So one other consideration I had to think about when installing this is um, that I probably wouldn't be able to put your normal awning on there because you wouldn't be able to have the, the uh, awning arms running down across the front of your caravan there. So I'm only left to be able to put a, the original canvas sliding canvas awning that slides in on the sail track or perhaps an electric awning or you know some other form of awning. So I'll just show you under the bed here. So that slide out kitchen does slide under this front single bed. I haven't finished painting the floor or anything there at the moment but it just slides in and sits right there across the front of the caravan which is perfect uh, and in between the well that section of bed there got uh, a couple of batteries and electrics running over there you can see that um that hose there with it where the kitchen plugs into that that bayonet i found on the front side of that um that rail i can actually drop in like tent poles and things like that as well, longer stuff, fishing rods and bits and pieces. So it's an extra little space I can use, which is good. So guys, that's my camp kitchen. Um, like I said, I will leave a link in the description below to the manufacturer for that one, if you're in Australia. But anyway, hopefully it gives you a couple of ideas. If you've got any questions about it, make sure you drop them in the comments below as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.